Hello, I'm Adam Tomlinson and welcome back to the Heidi Buzz podcast show. This week, I'm joined by a very special guest for our 12th episode, Moroccan former Heidi Marouane Zamama. He's going to chat to us about his time at the club, his relationship with the fans, and of course, winning the 2007 League Cup final at Hampton Park. Full of flair and trickery, Marouane joined Hibs in 2006 and nearly spent five years at Easter Road, establishing himself as a fan favourite as he made 89 appearances for the club and scored 11 memorable goals. Marwan, how are you? You okay? Yeah, good. Excellent. And thank you, first of all, for, for joining us and, and coming on the High B Buzz. Um, it's been over a decade now since you left the club. Can you believe it's been that long? Yeah, so uh, first uh, I will start to say thanks to everyone at Hibernian that uh, the welcome I had since I came to this big club. Uh, they gave me the opportunity to to play in high level and uh, against big teams. So it was uh, a great start uh, for the Hibernian. Uh, I'm really happy the the way i played in scotland and the fans also was great so i was a, a big welcome for me since i signed with them since the the first game so i was really happy and uh, thanks for everyone at hiberni yeah they, they, they absolutely loved uh, you during your your time at the club and um, before we go on to the football side of things um you're obviously living back in Morocco now. Um, how are you and your family? Are you all, all doing well, all keeping busy and settled in? Yeah, good. So uh, all my family are good, uh, the kids as well. So I just uh, started the, the coaching this year. So I'm coaching my, my kids uh, with the under 15 and under 11. So it's great to, to start the, the coaching career with, the, with my kids. So a new experience. So I'm hoping to get uh, uh, to do well with this uh, new uh, start uh, in the coaching uh, career. How are you finding coaching your kids? That's good. It's good. So uh, uh, it's really, really good. So we, we always motivated to, to work with the young lads and especially with your kids. So... Uh, is a is a really good experience, and hopefully I can do well and uh, star uh, the league soon. So hopefully we can do well this year. Are you teaching them a few tricks? Uh, yes, uh, already s- since I was in Hibernian, I teach uh, the the bigger one. So now the the youngest as well. So uh, he's he's, do- he's doing well at the moment, and hopefully he can do his best in the future. What, what else are you doing uh, with your time at the moment other than the coaching side of things? So it's good now. I, with time, I spend time with my family and with training. So because now I'm, I'm training with the under 15 and the under 11. So almost all the afternoon, uh, a bit uh, busy with the, with the training. So it's good to have some time with the kids and sometimes with the young lads to teach them to to show them how to, how they how to play and how to to have a good attitude to to have a good career in the future fantastic and on to football and, and going back all the way to 2006 obviously you made the decision to to move to edinburgh to scotland from morocco how big of a decision was that for you to to move so far away to change your whole life to come to Scotland? Yeah, so I had uh, experience since I was uh, 14 or 15, since I joined the, the Raja uh, Casablanca. So I was already have a, a experience to, to get out from uh, my home and my, uh, my family. So that's why I, uh, they helped me to, to use to uh, quickly with the Hibernian. And also with uh, Benji, so I find Benji there, so it was easier for me to 
to use to with the group and uh, and the welcome I had from the football club and from the player was great. So I think uh, I I done the, the job quicker. So I was I had experience as well in Qatar. So when I joined Hibernian was uh, I didn't find uh, much problem to to use to, to the with the group. So I integrate quicker and I start playing football. And when you start playing football, you enjoy and uh, uh, was a good start with Hibernian. So like I said, uh, was uh, one of the best time in football in all my career. Uh, for me, uh, Hibernian was the best club I have ever played for, uh, for my career. Maybe I should uh, played more than I did with them, but that's the my destiny. So, and also we won the cup, was almost 40 years. The club didn't win that cup and we win it and it was a great welcome from the from the Hibernian fans in the city in Edinburgh, in the beautiful city. So it was a great time at Hibernian and uh, I will never forget what they did for me and uh, thanks to all of them. How did the move come about? So how, how did you how did the move to to Hibernian happen? When did you first hear about it? Um, did a scout come and watch you? I think I sent my uh, since uh, Benji signed for Hibernian uh, and uh, I sent my CD with uh, with uh, the highlight and I take the Tony Mowbray and Vino seen the the highlights and everything and they were they were interested and they spoke with the Raja uh, to come to Edinburgh to have a test but uh, Casablanca they refused they said you must buy the player without any test so and I keep touch with the club and uh, uh, I went to Edinburgh and I had the uh, a uh, couple trainer trainer train uh, with the with the group, and after that I signed uh, and uh, was great to sign for uh, for Hibernian and start my professional career. What what was that? What was that like? The first when you kind of landed into Scotland, the obviously massive difference in in culture and and climate. What what was that like? Were you a bit shocked? No, no, uh, opposite. So I was ready for the challenge. Because, uh, you know, uh, at that time, I have uh, a lot of motivation to start a new career because it was a little bit uh, a problem with the club because when I went to Qatar, they want, to, uh, they want me to stay with them and to have a good career in Qatar. But the club refused about some money uh, and they was ready for a new challenge. I said, now in uh, Scotland, uh, a big, uh, a big league, a uh, strong league. So I was happy to start a new challenge, and and uh, I have a lot of good players around me. So we had a, a really really good team at that time uh, with young players and uh, quality and power in the team. So uh, we we won against Celtic. We won against Rangers. We had a really, really good uh, start with the with the, with the players. So we had a, a really good team. What was it like living in Scotland? Where did you live? In Edinburgh, mm -hmm. city centre. Uh, I was first time near to the Easter Road in Albion Gardens. So oh, nice. I was yeah. So me and Benji we were at Albion Gardens. So it was a great, beautiful city. Always we go to the town and spend some time together and uh, we, we really enjoy, enjoy it. How did Benji help you settle in? Yeah, it was great too, after the training and in training as well. We, we have uh, some fun. We can watch the, the TV together. We can went outside together. Someone to, to speak with him after a training, after a big session. So it was good to have some time together and uh, we really enjoyed even at the games and training and outside it was great to have Benji there with me yeah 
know, you, you two certainly had a, a really good relationship. Um, in terms of your time at Hibernian, then what what are your best best memories, best goals, best games? What really stands out for you? The best start was against Hearts in in the derby to score a goal, uh, one of the best goal in in the league. At that time, to start a, a derby with a with a goal like that was a great for me, and I really enjoyed because uh, I know what the derby likes. Uh, you know, uh, I, uh, the, the all always the derby are a big for the fans, big for the club, one of the best uh, games in uh, in the year. So it was a great to to have a start. With that goal, and the fans were behind me all the time, and say my name, and uh, I really enjoy. Thanks to the fans who helped me to to get my best, and especially as well against Celtic, against Rangers, against the big teams. That's the games I like, and and uh, the be- the best moments as well when we won the the cup, uh, and was great to. To get Hearts in the quarter final, to beat them at home, and uh, beat as well the Kilmarnock in the final with a with a large score, and was great to have that uh, that uh, cup in my palmares. What what was it like playing in the atmosphere against against Hearts? It's, it, it's different, isn't it? It's very different to I suppose what you were kind of used to playing in before. No, it was almost the same because here in in Casa we have a big derby as well. So it was almost eighty thousand in uh, in uh, in the stadium before they did the, the chair and everything. So I really enjoyed because I have the, that experience. I won a cup uh, with the, with the Rajat. I won I think the three cup with the three cups with the Casablanca. We won the the African Cup and the Arabic Cup and the Moroccan Cup as well and the league. So I had a, a experience that helped helped me to to play well uh, with the Hibernian and gave them everything. Tell us about that goal then. Remind people what it was like. Yeah, and you know, it was uh, really really nice. You know. Uh, the fans enjoy it, and against Hearts, always good to score. And we nearly won that game because we were two 0 up, and in the end we get two two. But it was a great game, and uh, the fans were really happy. Especially outside, when I met them outside, they were really really happy. So uh, I really enjoyed uh, to play against Hearts and against Celtic, against Rangers. A really really good at- atmosphere. And you mentioned the 2007 uh, League Cup final as well. What was that like at that moment, going into into a final? The fans obviously really excited, a, a really good young team as well. What what was the feeling going into the final? Uh, well, I, I I especially I had a, a feeling that we will win this that cup because we had a really good team. And all, all the big teams are out. They were out. So we had uh, Kilmanorok. They were a good team, but we were a better side than them. So we had a... Uh, we can, at that time, we can beat any team in, in, in the league because we had a really good quality. Uh, you know, after that, all the players went to the big clubs. Scott Brown, Kevin Thompson, uh, David Murphy, all the players went to, the, to, be, to bigger clubs. So I think if we if the if they kept that team for one year or two, then maybe we can win the league and win the cup as well. So we really we really did have a, a really good team. I was going to say, how good were those were those players? Scott Brown, Stephen Fletcher, yeah. Stephen Whitaker. Stephen Fletcher, yeah, Stephen Whitaker, all all of them. How good were they to play with? Yeah, they 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 were really good at time uh, at that time, and especially they were young as well. You know, we had uh, all the players. You know, good. We have a mix of quality and power. Uh, technically, players uh, well, like uh, Rob Jones scored from any 
any corner, any free kick. So uh, it was a great, great team, you know. And uh, Fletcher and uh, Benji as well in attacking uh, area. So we really had a really good team. Lewis Stevenson started that that game as well on the left wing, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's still playing as well. So always I went to see some uh, Hibernian games, and I see uh, Paul Hallen and uh, Steven and uh, uh, Luis uh, always playing, and I really enjoy when I watch them playing. They still playing as well. They were good. That showed the the attitude of the players. How many years they and they still in same level? So uh, professional players, and uh, I wish them all the best. Obviously, the the League Cup final, you were you were on the bench um, for the game and, and came on in the second half and helped create two more goals. Yeah, so I was I I, I want to play that game, but uh, I had an injury before that uh, game. So and I managed to get uh, to that game uh, and came on and have some some play some minutes and uh, especially one uh, five one so it was great and you know something I, I will never forget. What, what was that like for you? Obviously, you said you you kind of you wanted to play, but you had a a little injury that that stopped you from starting in that game. Yeah. So do you almost wish that you, you had the opportunity to start it? I can imagine at the time it was quite difficult. No, no, I was playing regularly at that time. So I played in the quarter final against Haas. It was a big game. We won 1 0 at Easter Road. And I didn't play the semi final as well because I had an injury and I managed to, to get fit in the final. But uh, I wasn't 100% ready to play a full game. But I played almost 30 minutes and it was great, you know, because um, in, in the cup finals, I like the, the big games, like I said, because I had a big experience here in, in, uh, in, uh, with Raja. So I had no problem to play, play big games and the uh, finals. That's why I want to play that game. But the most important, we won the, the final. What was the celebrations like after when the final whistle went? All the kind of celebration, like with with Moroccan flag and Hebrean flag, and you know, with the, with teammates, and after that with the family, with the you know, it was a great, you know, the the all always when you won a final, like they stay for a long, long time in your in your mind because something happened once uh, a few years. And when you have you have chance to win it, you have to win it, and we won that uh, league cup, and was great for for the club, for us, for everything. Yeah, it was a really big moment, wasn't it, for the club and for the supporters? Yeah, so because it was a long time, I think almost forty years, not to get in the final and not to win that uh, final, but we won it. Uh, I remember like we went in the, in the bus. With the, in the city, uh, and uh, what uh, Edinburgh was almost full uh, with the, of the fans. Like uh, we say hi to the fans from the town to the to the stadium. So it was great. It was uh, almost uh, one of uh, the big biggest moments in my life. The, the scenes that that day were incredible, weren't they? I bet you couldn't really believe. That how many people had, had come out to, to celebrate with you? Yeah, so like uh, I said, uh, the fans make a really good uh, role in uh, in our victory because they were behind us in all the games, supporting us, uh, say our names, and give us a lot of, a lot of motivation to win to win that uh, league cup, and we did it, and we had uh, a really good. Uh, uh, games with the with the, the motivation of the fans and uh, we make them happy and they make us happy as well and uh, always we wait for the, the weekend to come to play against this uh, in front of uh, the biggest uh, fans uh, because uh, even the stadium are really good you know with the 
with the fans near to us. Yeah, they give us a lot of motivation to play well, and we did well. And thanks to them. Played under some really big managers at Hibs as well. Um, yeah. Obviously, John Collins, um, John Hughes. Uh, oh, not John Hughes, sorry. John, yeah, John Collins, John Hughes, Big Sue, yeah. Tony Mowbray. Yeah. What, what were those guys like? Yeah, we. I, I will send thanks to them because they uh, they help us to every every manager have uh, a system to play with and attitude, and we can take a little bit from all manager, a little bit from uh, Tony Mowbray, a little bit from John Collins, from uh, Tommy as well. You know, it was great as well with John Collins. The guy always crying to us and always behind us so thanks to them to Yogi as well he's a big guy uh, you know always laughing with us you know was great Mixo as well uh, every manager is different and as a player you you take a little bit from each manager that's help you in your career in football and in the manager as well because now every time I remember the, the session I did with old manager and every time you you said I did this session with this manager, and you know it's a, a really good experience to have a lot of uh, big managers. And I will thank to them; they were really nice to us and professional as well. So uh, I wish them all all of the all of the best. Have you taken anything that that they used to do in training with you into your own coaching career? Yeah, sometimes you remember a session we did with um, a manager and uh, you do it as well. And uh, it's great. Uh, I remember almost all the sessions and every manager is different. And uh, they, re- they were really good with us and they explained to us how to play with the ball, without the ball and the attitude as well. So... Uh, we really had a good experience with the, all the manager and uh, thanks to them. You mentioned the uh, Hibernian fans earlier. What's your your lasting memory of Hibernian supporters? Uh, a lot, a lot of uh, moments, you know, a lot of games when I scored the goals and uh, uh, especially, uh, like I said, against the big teams, like we, when we won against Hearts or against Celtic or against Rangers, that's the difference uh, the fans, they like, because we can beat uh, all other teams. But when we beat one of the biggest team in the league, that's what the, the fans like, because you're not going to beat them all, all the year. You beat them once. And once a year or once uh, four years or five years because it's not easy to, to win against these big teams because they have a really good squad, a big squad, big quality players, especially the time when I did play in Scotland because almost uh, always Celtic and the Rangers was playing in Champions League. So it, was not, it wasn't easy to beat them at that time. And to play really good with them, but we did that, and we managed to to play with them and won against them. So it was a great experience. Mentioned after the League Cup final that uh, the Hibernian flags were out, the Moroccan flags were out. Do you remember the fans um, wearing fezes in the stadium with their own Moroccan flags for you? Yeah, and uh, you know, with the Moroccan caps, uh, they 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 gave us the. Uh, the the Hibernian flag and the Moroccan flag and the Moroccan cups and we did it and I still remember that time and celebration and uh, everyone was happy at that moment so we really enjoyed like I said uh, one of the biggest moments in my life and that I will never uh, forget that moment. What was that like for you when you look up into a into a stadium and you see supporters? Um, with Moroccan flags, Moroccan caps, just for you. Yeah, that's that's the motivation they give us the, at that moment. You feel like, uh, to be honest, I feel like I was at home. You know, when you see the fans loves you and uh, saying your name and with Moroccan flags, with Moroccan caps, that give me the the feeling that I 
um, at home and I, will, I, I didn't feel like I was away from my home or from my country because uh, everyone at Edinburgh was nice to me at the club as well with family. My family was, uh, my wife was happy as well at Hibernian always told me like uh, the, the best moment we had in my, in my football career was at Hibernian. So I had a really good uh, uh, years in Hibernian and thanks to them. Do you remember your chant? Sorry? Do you remember your song? Uh, song? The, the song that the fans sung for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it. Yeah, always. Yeah. Can you sing it for us? And the one they said, Zimama, ooh. The mama, ooh, always that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a good song, I like it. Yeah, yeah. So when I hear it in stadium, like I uh, I played well and I, did, I don't want to stop to play well and do the best for them. And, uh, you know, they, they, they were great, great, great. They, they still um, remember you really fondly. We actually... Um, put a post out on Facebook um, celebrating your birthday and it was seen yeah. by over 300,000 people. Yeah, I seen it. Uh, yeah, I was uh, always, when I said that at my birthday, uh, I'm always happy. And like I said, like Hibernian uh, is, well, they will stay in my heart because I will remember them all the time because uh, was, like I said, when I had a little bit of, of a problem here with the Raja, then I went there and I, I, I find that welcome they give me and everything was a great, a great change of, in my life since I, I went to Hibernian. So that's why they will stay in my heart forever. Do you still talk to any of the, any of the players you used to play with, the likes of Benji? Benji, I spoke with Benji uh, sometimes. Uh, we keep in touch sometimes, but uh, I, sp I spoke with the, the players the time when we celebrate the 10 years uh, after we won the League Cup in Edinburgh. was great to, to see the, the players as well. So they were great. And, uh, you know, like I said, we had a really good team, a good attitude. Players were fantastic to me and to Benji, like I said, and wish them all the best. Obviously, for you, it would have been a, a massive decision, right, to leave Hibernian and, and go to Middlesbrough. What was that like for you? To be honest, uh, uh, Mr. Rod Petrie uh, wants me to stay and didn't want me to, to go to Middlesbrough. I really insist to him that I... I want to get a new challenge, especially with Tony Mowbray. Uh, that's why I, I choose to, to, to get a move to Middlesbrough, uh, big club, championship, big players as well. So that's why. But it uh, was a really good experience as well in the championship. Maybe because after the injury, I moved to Middlesbrough. Maybe I wasn't able to do what I did in Hibernian because I just come back from the injury. That's why. But uh, we managed to stay that year in the championship because they were nearly relegated and we managed to keep the team in championship. And next year we nearly make the playoffs. But a really good experience as well in, in the championship and thanks to Middlesbrough as well uh, for everyone in Middlesbrough because I had a great experience as well. You still look at, at Hibernian's results, check how we're getting on? Yeah, always, always in BBC, BBC Sports, always the league table score and picture, always I, I, I seen Hibernian and Middlesbrough as well, all, always. Erwan, thank you so much for, for joining us. You've, you've certainly there gone through some very special moments um, that, that you had at the football club and some that, that fans will reminisce about after this uh, I'm sure thank you very much for, for joining us on the latest episode of the High B Buzz you're welcome anytime and see hi to everyone and I wish you all the best thank you thank you